Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. Today I've got a fresh new drop from Nike. It's a leather free pair of the Nike Air Hirachis. If you've not seen one of my videos before, I always look into five main categories when I review a pair of sneakers. Then at the end of the video, I will give these leather-free Nike Air Hirachis an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going along, like always ask, and I'm very grateful if you could click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And if you haven't already, and you've got two seconds, take time to subscribe to the channel. Right, let's kick this review off then by checking these Nike Air Hirachis that are leather-free out on feet. I'm focusing heavily on the fact that this is a leather-free pair of Nike Air Hirachis because there are not many, if any, others out there. So if you do care about the materials that are used in shoes, then do be careful if you're buying a different pair of Hirachis to these black and silver and gray ones that I'm showing you right now, because this is the only pair I've been able to find in recent years that have been leather free. And that's because what they've done is they've replaced the suede and leather parts of the shoe, which here on the toe box and where the cages for the laces and the midfoot of the shoe, that is now synthetic leather. It's a soft synthetic leather that feels really nice to the touch. That is on top of some perforated foam detailing in the toe box area. And then that is overtaken in the middle of the foot and towards the heel with this silver neoprene like fabric. It's really nice and soft to the touch. Then you've got this huge exaggerated heel clip that you can see here that runs all the way around the back of the Hirachis. You've got this 90s inspired Nike branding on that massive rubberized heel clip. That runs all the way around to the other side. It's a mirror image both sides, except on this shoe here, you also get this little metallic keyring swoosh, which is quite a nice touch. And on the tongue, you've got more Hirachi branding in this green. The laces come with 3M detailing, which is also a nice touch. I just really love the lines and the way this sneaker looks, especially with the bobbled effect and the cutaways that you get on this Nike Air midsole. And then you've got this plain black outsole with the Nike branding in the middle of the foot. I just think they're such a classic shoe. They've been re-released so many times, but I do really love the fact that now they come out in a leather-free pair. Now I wanna move on to their comfort, where I wanna give this Nike Air midsole the test on the backdoor step. see from the step test that there's a really really nice amount of cushioning and bounce back and responsiveness that you get with this Nike Air cushion midsole on these Nike Air Hirachis. Really really comfortable underfoot. I was pleasantly surprised by the ride because it's very very nicely cushioned, nicely squishy but you also get a nice amount of firmness especially as you move towards the toe area. The midfoot here and the heel just offers some really nice squishy comfort that I really wasn't expecting. I had a pair of ultra boosts on one foot and this on the other and I really struggled to tell the difference with the responsive cushion bounce back. So really really nice and comfortable underfoot on top of your feet they're also very comfortable because you get this old school perforated foam detailing. This neoprene that runs from the middle of the foot to the end as well is nice and soft. The sock like fit on these is really comfortable and supportive. This is definitely not a heel pull, but it does offer some nice support, this huge rubberized heel clip. One thing I definitely will say with these though, size wise, is definitely go at least half a size up. I'm, 
I would definitely take these back and get a full size up to be honest because they are very narrow. Now my feet are a perfect length UK size 10 and my toes came right to the end of these so at least half a size more lengthwise but it was width wise that I found these very narrow. My feet are slightly wider than average and they definitely struggled to fit inside this toe box and really getting these on is a bit of a struggle because this neoprene foam detailing that is sock like and you have to squeeze your foot into really is a bit of a struggle so I would definitely go at least half a size maybe even a full size up on these now i want to move on to their weight where i'm going to pop them on the scales tipping the scales at 318 grams that is an excellent weight really surprising as well considering you've got a huge amount of this air cushioning in the midsole and then you've got so many different overlays on top of this shoe and this huge rubberized heel clip that's got to add a lot of weight but they've really kept the weight down on this sneaker now anything below 350 really is lightweight now, coming in at 318 grams that's an absolutely incredible weight, which means your feet really aren't gonna be weighed down in whatever you wanna do with these. They're definitely more of a lifestyle shoe for me, but you definitely could get away with that weight as wearing these as more of an athletic shoe. Now I wanna move on to their breathability where I'm gonna pump the sneaker full of smoke to see how breathable it is. Wow, what a great result in the breathability test. These Nike Air Harachis really have surprised me throughout this review. And not only are they incredibly comfortable, they're lightweight and they look good, breathability wise, they're excellent. This perforated material in the toe box really offers great breathability. The smoke came out of there really quickly and in large amounts. And also, you can see the smoke escaping from this silver neoprene-like fabric in the middle of the foot, and that also runs around to the heel as well. So that's gonna offer some nice 360 breathability that you don't often find with many pairs of sneakers. Now I wanna move on to their price. Now these cost me 115 pounds. I think that's a really good price because I don't know if you can tell by my excitement throughout this review, but I absolutely love this pair of Leather 3 Nike Air Apraches and I'm gonna give these a really, really solid five stars. I'm really surprised by this pair of shoes. I love the way they look, but I know this 90s aesthetic can really put people off because it's, look, it's 2022 now. Some people think their days have been and gone and now it's all about the Yeezys. But to be honest, I love these Nike Air Harachis. I love the way they look. And I love the fact that they've made a leather-free pair. They're incredibly comfortable, very surprisingly comfortable. They're very breathable, incredibly lightweight as well, considering the amount of materials that have gone in. I just think overall, there's no other score I could give these than five stars. Now, if you agree or disagree, do not forget to leave some comments below. Also, if you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. But before you leave, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up like if you have liked what you have seen. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.